at what point did you start to feel comfortable speaking about those things? When I realized that that was the only uh, coping mechanism that actually got me through it. Yeah. That I didn't feel like I had to turn to things that were uh, less than good to get through something. And I think the coping mechanism for me in talking about fears that I have, uh, inadequacy uh, complex that I have, um, is probably talking about it publicly. And self-deprecation mm -hmm. has been a really interesting tool for me. I remember when I went out on a, uh, my first date with my, my, now, my now wife, and we were sitting at dinner, and I said to her, I want to tell you all these really weird things about myself. I was molested as a child. I attempted suicide. I have an eating disorder. And my wife, my now wife said to me, it's obvious to me why you are single. This is not exactly the best way to lead and start a relationship. And my response was, well, that's one way to look at it. But if I tell you all of my warts, if I show you all of my warts up front, do I gain your trust? And are you willing to share yours with me? And self-deprecation, whether it's on the show, which has really changed for me, or whether it's in an environment like this, has been a coping mechanism so that when I leave here, uh, how I'm feeling inside talking to you about this right now uh, can at least be suppressed.